What is up, y'all, and welcome back to some more of the Let's Fight series. Uh, I'm gonna pause this real quick so I can, uh, you know, give my little opening remark um, before I start playing the game. Some of you guys are watching, like, just play the game. I'm here to watch you play the game. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to share <clears throat> with all my fans out there, all my amazing fans, everyone who's amazing, um, that I'm in a good mood because um, I had a good day at work. I had a good day at my second work. It was my first day at my second work, which is going to be my new job. And I'm kind of sad. Like, it's bittersweet that my day at work was good because I'm leaving my current job for my new job. And then I got a thing with my other new jobs. I'm going to have two new jobs leaving the current job. Um, yeah, I don't want to bore you guys with the details. Also, don't want to really go into that. Because um, this channel is about gaming and Stormativo, not like my career and like life outside of gaming or whatever, but anyway, I want to spread some of the positivity. I uh, hope anybody who's watching this has had a great day so far as well, whether it's uh, you're starting off your day watching Stormativo or I think much more likely it would be uh, just chilling, watching it in the evening. Um, that's when I find myself watching more YouTube and Twitch stuff. Because, uh, I like to wake up around when the sun, like, like within an hour or two when the sun has gone up in the sky, or, or maybe three or four or something, um, you know, and just enjoy the daytime by soaking in some sunlight, moving all the muscles in my legs and arms, and, um, you know, just, like, doing things that are not sedentary I'm, I'm I'm like half sure I know what that word means like when you're when you're sitting still fancy word for like when you're sitting still uh, and then the evening is a great time for gaming and chilling watching YouTube so maybe you're watching this and you're very interested in my Charlie gameplay maybe you're just interested in Charlie and the Street Fighter Alpha 3 Max, and you don't really care about my particular gameplay, you just like want to see some of the character. That's cool too. And um, maybe you know nothing about fighting games, and for some reason, this is the first video you're seeing about them. Um, whatever the case may be, I hope you enjoy the experience of me wrecking this Dalson, except I'm not wrecking him at all. Okay, maybe we'll get a 3 0. But, and here's here's something else, small side note, all the longtime viewers of this series will know, I need to observe this doll sim, because my doll sim in this game totally sucks. But at some point we will go back and play through this game with him. And that's kind of a recurring thing, because actually, stupid microphone, just, just stay still please. Um, sorry, it's not stupid, I'm grateful for this item microphone held up by a guitar stand but um yeah what was i just saying yeah i need to observe dalsim because we'll go back and play him and whatever oh yeah and what i was gonna say is um it's kind of a recurring thing that my dalsim is not the greatest because my first ever Stormativo videos were me playing as dalsim in street fighter 2 and it's, I didn't even realize now how, that's pretty ironic how, um, both in Street Fighter 2, I, like, had to go for a second attempt on my Dalsim run, and now it's the same way in this game. Uh, it might even be more than the second attempt if I'm, like, extremely a noob, but, like, you guys know if you've seen my, uh, installments of the Let's Fight series so far, I don't skip characters. I don't, um, I don't say, oh, that's, that's too hard, I give up, you know. It's not what the series is about whatsoever. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, sometimes I do them out of order, uh, that is clear as well, or just, I, I kind of want to just choose like a random order every time to spice things up, but, um, but yeah, so... My Nash is not too bad, even with Autopilot Nash, I was still doing pretty good there, but... 
I'm gonna kind of pay attention. He uses the dive kick a lot. That's like the second or third time I've observed that. Like a lot, a lot. And I'm probably gonna lose. Maybe. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, he got me with a, I think it was a light kick or maybe a medium. And I went for the sweep, so faster move should win. The mind can often be a more formidable weapon than the body. Yeah. Heck yeah, man. Uh, so the question is, what button was this? Circle? No. All right, we're mixing up a little with the outfits. It's been like three or four days since I've recorded a video, so it might be a little rusty. But here's the thing that's hype. So you guys who are watching these in order will know how hype I was about getting internet, right? So I got the router in the mail box for it is right there and I tried to get it to work obviously and if you can see where this is going yeah it did not work um it kind of sucks I was um talking to customer support for like 45 minutes and it still wasn't working and so they were like okay like we've talked to you for a long time basically so the next step is we'll send somebody out there to hopefully get it working for you. And that is tomorrow. So I'm hyped for that. Um, two main reasons I want to go over. There's a, there's a lot more than two, actually, because I'm like such an internet aholic, like, like so many people in these modern times, right? But um, especially the United States. But... Um, yeah, so the two reasons I want to say, which some you guys already will know, but I want to emphasize this again for the hype. I should have paid more attention to like what I was doing when I was on autopilot or just go back to playing on autopilot. But um, anyway, the first and most obvious one is that I'll be able to upload all these videos. And then, um, and then record more and upload more and rinse and repeat. And then, um, I'm excited to play more Guilty Gear Strive online as well. It's the second one. Cause, um, I've played a lot of Street Fighter V online. I've played a lot of Smash Ultimate online. I still like those both. Like those two and Strive are my top three games. For playing online and stuff or just top three fighting games I enjoy you know but um could have used super there I'm gonna save it might have been a bad move all right we're good um yeah like like I was so the train of thought is like I've played Smash Ultimate and Street Fighter V, but Guilty Gear Strive has been my favorite online playing experience. And all I can say is shout out to the developers. Shout out to Daisuke. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Um, Cause yeah, the, like people, people talk about it's kind of a meme in the Guilty Gear community, like Daisuke's vision, but like, it's sometimes it, something's a meme or like a joke or something because of how like real it is and like Daisuke's vision is real because like the Guilty Gear aesthetic is cool and it's like it's so cool to me that it's like important or something I don't know I'm like a mega nerd having a mega nerd moment right now but um yeah and like my my favorite way to experience the aesthetic is playing Potemkin online and hitting hitting noobs, hitting tryhards with Potemkin busters and Mega Fistos. Um, I just have not had a gaming experience that makes me feel that exact same way. So yeah, once again, shout out to the Guilty Gear team. And here's what I'm hoping. So I'm going to lead up to what I'm hoping for. So right now, C 
Jin Kisuke, second DLC character in season two, Guilty Gear Strive, um, just dropped. So I'm, I'm excited to try him out. He's definitely not a character I want to play a lot of, or so I think. I'm sorry, are you mad at me? Did I tick you off? Ha ha. I don't know why the tick was in the quotes there. Did I tick you off? Like, as if we were fighting a tick or something. But yeah, hold that thought about Potem Gangs. I want to read this um, thing. Hold that thought about Guilty Gear Strive. Target in sight, ready to execute primary combat mode. Commencing attack. Wait, stop, hold it. That's a Shadowloo uniform. That little girl couldn't be a member of Shadowloo. All right, so yeah, that's some cool lore. Um, I kind of want to talk more about that, but I want to finish my train of thought as well. So. Um, We're halfway through season two, is basically what I was going to say. There's going to be four characters. The second one just came out. And um, I want to play as much Strive as possible because there hasn't been any talk officially of a season three yet, to my knowledge. Also, a nice hooligan combination. Um, there hasn't been any talk of it yet. I think it's likely. I'm obviously very strongly hoping for it. But worst case scenario, if season two is the last season, I want to play while well, it's still like a um, incomplete game, I guess, for lack of a better word. Um, like while it still doesn't have the final roster, um, I want to play that a lot and enjoy the meta while it's current. It's very current, very active. I mean, like, I'm here's why. Here's what I'm excited for and why I think season three is likely, because um I believe it's halfway through season two, they're adding crossplay. So people on PC can play people on PS4, and I don't think it's on Oh wait, no, it is yeah, it is on Xbox, so I I'm sure it'll mix like all three communities. Yeah, it is on Xbox. I remember seeing that, but um So Here's what's interesting. What I just thought was kind of kind of ironic. So I, I start, or I get back into playing Strive after Sin comes out, and it might be halfway through the last season. But if there's three seasons, it's about exactly halfway through the game's life cycle because we're one and a half seasons in, one and a half to go. Minor damage, memory error. What am I doing here? Yeah, Cammy's like controlled by a Shadowloo something or other, but um, was it R1? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it'll either be halfway through season two or halfway through like the whole game, unless there's four seasons, which like that would be wonderful if that is the case. Um, only time will tell. Only Arc System Works will tell, you know, but um, if it's shorter than I'm hoping, then all the hardcore fans are hoping for, at least there's still Street Fighter VI on the horizon, right? But um, you're really going to just double hooligan grab me like that? Uh, yeah, I'm doing a little better at getting that super to come out. Please make this easy. Yeah, she's making it easy. Thank you for not putting up much of a fight at this hour. Best way to get a win. Let's do that. Boom. Time them out. Yeah, that barely ever happens in Strive. I feel like I might have literally not seen a timeout in Strive. Like, I can't think of a time that I did. 
um, because that game is crazy, but, um, anyway, that's enough about Guilty Gear Strive, because some of you guys watching this are, oh, my controller's fucking up, don't do that, um, some of you guys watching this are like, I'm watching Street Fighter, I don't care about Guilty Gear or something, and, um, the odds of that aren't too low, because Guilty Gear Strive has its haters, it has its, um, it, it has people who were longtime fans of the Guilty Gear series, and then Guilty Gear Strive was not their cup of tea. It's a good bit in that uh, in that group as well, you know. But like like I've said, I am a fan of the game. Maybe it's because I'm kind of a noob or something. I don't like long combos. I'm like a combo noob or whatever. But um, anyway. I enjoy the game, and if you enjoy playing the video game, th this is something important I want to tell you guys, because um, a lot of people don't really know this, or like they, they like know it, but they don't like know it or believe it or something. But here's what I'm saying: if you enjoy like a certain video game or TV series or whatever it is, you should not let haters tell you to not enjoy it that was a perfect way to end a, a match like just saying that just putting those words out there calm down now it's over you've lost the battle let me go Grr, master bison what i suspected something unusual I suspected something unusual her body was artificially strengthened shadowloo is inhumane i'll make them suffer for their cruelty so sort of like Guile, Charlie is like opposing Shadowloo, that's kind of his thing, it's kind of his story, so not a huge surprise there. It's cool. Um, somebody has to fight the main evil organization in the Street Fighter universe, obviously. So yeah, um, it might be about it for my opening monologue, opening remarks. I feel like I'm, I, I think this is the Tonight Show or something. <laughs> um, the Tonight Show with Stormativo. No, I would use my real name if I was the host of that. Stormative? No, I'm just kidding. But, um, yeah, what are, those are any uh, fighting game news I want to talk about. Um, this is a very minor headline, but, um, and especially because it was just like a leak kind of thing. But it's a leak from, like, an official kind of leak. Because what I'm talking about is... So there's this game, DNF Duel. I bet some people probably not even heard of this. They're like, what, is that a fighting game? <laughs> or like, yeah, I, I'm sounding like a hater right now. Because I'm not trying to say the game, like, isn't known. But, like, it kind of isn't known. Because um, it kind of fell off, like, very shortly after its release. Um... You know, but anyway, game has 16 characters, pretty good, that's good, um, and there's like a YouTube playlist, I've, and like the, on the official Arc System Works thing, pretty sure that's who makes the game, yeah, yeah, that's who makes it, but, um, you just got wrecked, boy, well, maybe not, okay. Um, there's a playlist, it has 16 videos, because there's one for each character, and they, like, there was some kind of thing where it showed that there were 17 videos. The 17th one didn't, like, come up, so people couldn't see it, but they could see that it, like, had been, like, added, or some, some kind of thing where it was made clear. So there's going to be a DLC character, or two, for a DNF duel. Um, nowadays it's really, really weird to release a fighting game and not put one, but like, I don't know, I don't want to just trash talk the game, but it's like, how many people are playing it? Is it worth it to like, invest all the money it takes to add characters? Because like, all my fighting game historians out there know I'm, I'm going into some 
some pretty deep lore here, showing my fighting game nerdness a bit, but like, some of you guys know, if you don't know, you can look it up, the, um, there was a Skullgirls, um, GoFundMe, or like something like that, where it was like a really big bar with like goals, like once we get to like fifty thousand dollars we do this once we get to a hundred we do this like add this to the game and it was like multiple hundred thousands of dollars to add dlc characters to skull girls and that's a really cool fact to me like that's a really big deal to me for a lot of reasons i'm not even like a skull girls player i'm a fan I'm not a player of the game though but like um, like I never thought about how expensive it is like per character in a fighting game before but like to make like a polished like A tier arguably B tier I'd say A tier though fighting game like a triple A I guess or whatever that is um, to make a good ass DLC character it, it takes a lot of time a lot of time, a lot of effort. Um, I am zoning him out so hard right now. Showing off my charging skills. Perfectly done. Um, yeah, so like, basically what I'm saying is like, however much profit DNF Duel has netted, does it justify paying for the developers to develop DLC characters? Obviously, I will, I and we will probably never know that because, like, um, that's just not the kind of thing people like openly talk about usually. The Skullgirls kind of being the exception, which just that in and of itself is cool that they were like open about like their them estimating their, um, financial needs or whatever but it wasn't really needs it was more like opportunities like the community Skullgirls fans had an opportunity to like literally invest in the game and I think they met all the goals or like it would seem like they did because like that was like what I'm saying was like kind of a while ago and then like th that whole thing transpired and now they added another season where there's four more characters. Um, Annie, Umbrella, I think it is, Time Out, sweet. But no, Annie, Umbrella, Black Dahlia, and Marie. You know what I'm saying? Um, or maybe you don't know what I'm saying, that's fine too. But um, yeah, that, was, that turned into kind of a long tangent just related to the DNF dual leak that I saw. Very slightly interesting. I don't see myself playing DNF dual DLC unless it's free. What I will say I did like about DNF dual is the story mode. That's pretty dope. Good proportion of fights and dialogue and um just kind of a cool story kind of makes sense because like dnf duel is like a spin-off maybe i don't know if that's the correct terminology but i'm just sonic boom for the win i just can't help myself um I promise it's not as easy as it looks. I'm not even being sarcastic. But, um... Yeah, so that, that's enough talk about DNF Duel. Identify tactical inadequacies, then renew your strategy. Yeah, it's with, it's with the eyes closed, right? Then renew your strategy. Um... But yeah, let's see. What other fighting game news is there? Well, here's something else. Um, 
the game awards are in five days i think it's on december 8th you know today's the third um yeah and um game awards pretty cool like i'm i'm glad they exist and stuff um but what i'm kind of more interested in honestly is the fact that tekken 8 has been like announced to be revealing new stuff probably a new trailer um this is the best kind of zoning when he just jumps and blocks on every sonic boom Yeah, but, um, kind of like with Skullgirls, like, I'm a Tekken fan, not really a Tekken player, um, but I'm very interested in what Tekken 8's gonna be like, because, um, oh, dang it, that was a great timing for that, can't even be mad, um, yeah, what else do I want to say about Tekken 8, um, yeah, like, as a fan of Guilty Gear Strive, as kind of a fighting game noob, I hope that Tekken 8 gets the Strive treatment, as I think it'll be called, and just, like, basically keeps a lot of the same elements that make Tekken good, but makes the game simpler and therefore more approachable. Um, that's what I see it as. Um... But, I don't think that- oh wait, I want to see this. Peace is something that can be wished for and fought for. Cool, I feel like I could even put a comma like before the and fought for, but um... Yeah, that's, that's neither here nor there. <laughs> Very much so, neither here nor there, but um... Yeah, so... I don't think that's likely, because like Tekken is a pretty traditional game like they're not don't have a lot of like instances of like whoa this new Tekken game is so different from the last one like other than just like improving the game like the game like from one game to the next it's like very improved and like graphically and like I'm sure gameplay wise as well but like just the bare bones, like what is going on? What is the formula? What is the movement and stuff? Like it doesn't change very radically, historically speaking, but that's subject to change potentially, you know, but um, I'm interested to see which way they go. Cause what I believe is that whichever way they go, is the one that's most likely to succeed because like i just think that like the people who make tekken like really know what they're doing so like i don't i don't see them making like a huge mistake with like what kind of way they go about making tekken 8. and um they released like a snippet of gameplay and it looks kind of like just what i said like graphically like way improved but like still like similar looking in just like the bare bones like structure you know what i'm saying so yeah that'll be cool if akuma's in the tekken 8 trailer that's gonna be a great meme because like there's a street fighter player in tekken 7 just let that sink in it's akuma for those of you who don't know uh i already said that <laughs> but um yeah, it's Akuma. We need Street Fighter Cross Tekken 2, except it's a 3D fighter instead of a 2D fighter. Oh uh, yeah, that, that would be um, very amazing and hilarious. But um, if it happens, everybody's going to say it's because of Akuma in Tekken 7. He just like... <laughs> brought it into reality or something but yeah I play Akuma whenever I play Tekken like whenever I'm trying to actually win online which has been like could count on my hand my hands and toes or my 
yeah, my hands and my feet, <laughs> how many times it was, because I think it's greater than 10, but less than 20. All jokes aside. Um, but yeah, I'm getting wrecked by T-Hawk. I, I could kind of see this being the bad matchup for Charlie, but I think I was just getting carried away in my, uh, my ravings. Open monologue ravings. But yeah, if I can go for 30 minutes talking about a bunch of random stuff, then I have what it takes to be a successful Twitch streamer someday. It's a huge inference, but uh, I'm gonna go with that anyway. Alright, now you stay over there, please. Yeah, I think it is a little bit of a tough matchup because like his like dive across the screen diagonally move it's hard to counter with the flash kick. Maybe I gotta use like this. I don't know. I'll try it out. I think of that. Cause, and you can't just sit there and charge, because he will grab you. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a tough matchup. Maybe I'm totally wrong, whatever, but, um... My sacred land, Thunderfoot, stays with me, always. So who's Thunderfoot? That's, that's why I need to find out. Um... I think... This is the only Street Fighter game where these two characters can meet. Because T-Hawk was in Street Fighter 4, Nash wasn't. Street Fighter 5, Nash was in, T-Hawk wasn't. So maybe they'll be reunited in Street Fighter 6. I'm not sure how good of a chance Nash has at coming back to keep it 100. Um, but who knows who's going to be in Street Fighter 6 at this point, you know, but, um... What I'm, I'm going to throw this out there right now, like, I could kind of see them going in a third strike direction and using, or just like a, I mean, Street Fighter 3 direction, excuse me. I could see them going in that direction as in, like, having mostly newcomers and, like, a few of the old characters. Because the art style is different, um, but who knows, right? But I, I, here's what I want to say about that as well, though. And this is a very recent, like, official thing. Once I finish this round, so please hold. Okay, yeah. Um, Luke, Jamie, and Kimberly are the new Ryu, Ken, and Chun-Li of this generation of fighters. So like this game's introducing a new generation of fighters. So like, sure, like there will be characters like Minot. Like Minot has like one of, if not the highest chances of getting in. And like, um, Ed, Ed might even be higher than uh, Minot. Like those are two of the characters I would bet on probably. But, um, yeah, I just, I think it's going to be kind of new-ish. Um, Laura, like, I, I would be very surprised if she wasn't in by the end. I could see her being near the end of the game's life cycle, but, like, I don't think she'll be omitted from the cast. Uh, that's not really the right word, like, I, I guess it works, omitted. Does that imply that she was in the cast at one point? I don't know. I'm not not 100% sure on the exact technical um, exact technical meanings of what it means to be omitted. But it sounds right. I'm just gonna leave it at that. Whatever. Um, yes, yeah, spitballing about what the Street Fighter VI cast is gonna be like. Uh, what else do I want to say about that? 
I think female Seth will be in. <laughs> um, poison. I don't know, anybody else, I'm kind of like, maybe, because like, Nikali, maybe, Fong, maybe, I doubt it, kind of. Um, G, there's another, yeah, th like, th this game is going to be so Street Fighter 3. Like, that's probably why they added the Street Fighter 3 meter. The meter at the bottom is exact, like, awesome new rendition of the Street Fighter 3 meter. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of new people. There will be some old ones in there, obviously, like, so who are some old people will be in there? Um, I mean, like, Akuma, that's a really easy one. Um, I don't know if they'll put Bison in, that's the thing, like most people it's like dude yeah duh like what the heck but like if they want to introduce a new main villain because i think i might have heard that street fighter 5 was like m bison's last stand or whatever i don't know but um akuma is such an easy one to say because he was in the leaks as well so like bringing those up is like s sacrilegious at this point because it's like you're not really honoring the developer's right to announce characters in their own way. Um, so that's my anti-leak notion. But um, yeah, I'm trying to think like who are some veteran characters who have a good chance to return? I mean, DJ, he's already confirmed from the leaks as well. Um, Balrog, there, there's one I'll say. I I would put him near the top of like who I predict to be in Street Fighter VI. Might make like a whole like list of like just a ton of people I think will be back. That'd be, that'd be fun. I really should do that because then it's like once all the characters come out, see how right I was. Um, yeah, Balrog, I could totally see... Don't know about Vega, don't know about Sagat. I think Sagat has a good chance. Um, and, um, I don't know, we'll leave it at that for now. If somebody happens to see this during the Street Fighter 6 life cycle, drop a comment who you think will get in that's not in yet. Same thing for Guilty Gear Strive. Hashtag Dizzy. That's all I'm going to say about that. I've already talked about Strive more than enough for this video. Dizzy's a character in Guilty Gear, by the way. For those of you guys that don't know that. but um, Yeah, maybe I'll just talk about what I'm doing. Pay a little more attention so we can get past this fight. He's pressuring me really good, like, I guess just as a grappler, he's programmed to get in and go for grabs. So that strategy works against my Nash pretty well. I just want to keep him away. Gotta really pay attention to doing that and not getting him stuck in the corner. Nice grab, dude. I like ducked under that. I'm pretty sure I literally ducked under that. Low profile, as they call it. Oh my god. I meant to super there. I like jumped towards him and looked so dumb because I meant to do the super. It, that, that super is dangerous because like hold down back, down forward, down back. And then up forward. It's like if you mess it up, you jump towards the opponent and like kind of catches you off guard so you just like neutral jump towards the opponent which like in a 2d fighting game that's one of the worst things you can do 
because you're opening yourself to get hit by an anti-air or a punish on the ground or something in between or whatever. But yeah, is this our first fight that's like sort of challenging? I think it is. Oh, that was lucky for me. Should not have even won there, honestly. Oh, come on. There we go. Alright, yeah, I think this uh, little extra bit of attention is just the right amount. for another grab right there. Oh my god. This is a close round. Definitely not my exact desired outcome. Yeah, it's all good. Well, something is better than nothing. That move is crazy, dude. Like, the move where he just like jumps towards you and is like, boom. Like, I'm. It's gotta be like forward heavy punch, I'm guessing. Um, but that move is crazy, dude. I'm gonna probably use that a lot when I play as this guy. Because it's a good attack and it advances him really far, which is great for going for grabs, it's great for putting out the super, um, like you just did there. He's kind of spamming it now, which like, I understand, but I could also do without. That sweep range is like ridiculous. Alright. Yeah, that was a little annoying. Oh yeah, we got loops. No, we don't. Wow. Perfect time to use a super. I'm still a little mad. It's almost one, but um I'll accomplish my mission for the pride of my tribe. It's a good one. I'm still thinking about Street Fighter Six, like who else is gonna get in? Um A Don. I think I think a Don or a Don or whatever will be in there. He's pretty OP in Street Fighter 4 and somewhat surprisingly did not make an appearance in Street Fighter 5 so... Alright that was dope. I'm pretty sure I intercepted the space between the first and second part of his sweep there. That move is ridiculous, dude. The T-Hawk, like, jumping forward clap move. There we go. Alright, we need some more rounds like that. Just two more, really. It does a lot of chip damage. That's cool. Making a mental note of that. I want to guard break you. Wow.
Are you serious, dude? Could have capitalized on that guard break a lot more. Look how low his guard is now. That's crazy. Crap. I that was so annoying because like I didn't even like I mean I messed up but not in like a normal way or something. Like I was like I shot a sonic boom and I like went to charge. And then for some reason my left thumb was like, hey, move the other direction, but don't press an attack button. And like I did, and it was just like, oh, why do you fail me? Crouching light kick for the win. All right, that was kind of cheap, I'm just saying. Why did I go for super? I blocked his jump in. I switched to standing block. But the crouching attack was what got me. Can't seem to get the good timing on that. Oh, I got lucky there. I didn't think I'd have time to block that. Stay back. Stay back. Oh. Counter hit. He almost got me. May have been even trying to grab me. All right. Time to get a round win. His walk speed is definitely faster than mine. I have noticed. Oh my god. Time to stop going for super. Maybe I should have thought that earlier. All right, that was a good fight. Good fight, GG, mate. Never defy the elements of nature. Facts. Oh, man. Let's see, can you guys see what my shirt says from there? Know you. This is one of my favorite clothing items that I have. Oh my god, are you that move is like the most versatile ridiculous ridiculously versatile like he literally crossed me up so hard just by using a punch move like come on dude it's like yeah man you want to see something like I've got advancing I've got a uh, advancing normals which if I use them I'm gonna get obliterated but um, yeah, I, I basically just lost the round because I wanted to show that I have advancing normals, but wow, yeah. All right then, so no more, no more throwing rounds. Need to get this W. 
see like he jumped in it looks like that should be the perfect time for that super to nail him but no he just uh lost a bit of health oh yeah i intercepted the sweep again like a boss interrupted makes better way to Better word choice there. Oh my gosh, dude. He Cross me up twice in a row with that move. Like that move is his uh I don't know, I can't even think. Like that that move is his move that is very good against me. Um that that was so like not as cool of a sentence as I intended, but uh whatever. It's like he's Doctor Strange and that move is his cape or something. <laughs> Alright, yeah, this is getting a lot worse. I'm just gonna leave it at that. I thought those would trade. I had a feeling that his dive move and my flash kick would trade, and I was right. That would have been a perfect time for my super to hit and get a clutch win. But like, have I hit him with one yet? Completely? I don't think so. Look up to the sky to heal the wounds of your soul. Just join me guys, just look straight up to the sky. Beautiful sky, the beautiful uh, space above our heads, which leads into outer space and uh, whatever else. Yeah, I'm excited to see all of T Hawk's quotes and uh, arcade story and arcade ending. I bet it'll be pretty, pretty transcendental. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about something pretty cool. Just like it's a particular type of coolness. That that's my definition of transcendental. A particular type of coolness. Um, you might say it's particular of what variety it's just it's just a particular type of coolness oh my god dude stop counter hitting me <laughs> that was not the right time to use a sonic boom I want to see this character, T Hawk, in Street Fighter VI, because like I'm like having an epiphany right now of like how good his toolkit is, how good his move set is, and like I'm pretty sure one of the leaked characters is like his younger sister or something, so I think that gives him a pretty good chance to be in. Unless it's like what happened with Laura and Sean, where like Laura gets in and she's Sean's brother, but Sean isn't in the game. Cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, his toolkit's interesting. And like, I like playing as grapplers usually, so I might even consider like maining him in Street Fighter 6. All the characters shown so far, I'm not too interested in. E Honda is like a strong maybe, but like it's not like a like. How would I want to rate how interested I am in E Honda? Like, I 
I don't know. I like charge characters. I like the character a lot, but like, I'm not in love with the character or the design or the move set or any of that stuff. For me, it's all like seven, seven out of ten, like six or eight out of ten. It's not like the Kali where I'm like aesthetic, eleven out of ten, move set, eight or nine out of ten. Yeah, but um, if Nikali gets in, I would probably main him. I think that's pretty likely. Same with 12. Shout out to 12. Also, I kind of just threw this by getting distracted. And some of you guys are probably like, shut up and win. Mm, I was I should not have done that. I tried to sonic boom his dive kick, which is actually like a dive like headbutt or whatever. Uh, okay. At this rate, I will probably win this battle and then end the video there. Um so we're at about an hour. It's a pretty good length for an installment in the Let's Fight series. Okay. That was straight up oppressive. He just like like he he just like turned me into a computer and pressed shut down. That's how shut down I was there. That was a good air grab. You're gonna air grab me twice in a row, dude. I just I went through such a change of emotions right there. I was like, oh, it was a good air grab the first one. I was like, that was a good timing, cool to see, and like. Less than a second later, the second one hits. Oh, come on, man. You're really going to air grab me twice. <laughs> that, that's what's so cool about fighting games is like... It, I mean, it can it can be more than just fighting games. It can be a lot of things that where this happens. But it's just like when you're like in the heat of the moment of an intense set in fighting games or like maybe any competition, like you can just go through like so many, like a roller coaster of rapidly changing emotions and um that's really cool i think that's part of the human experience um just being competitive is the most broad way to say it like as if fighting games would be part of the human experience that would be a very strange world to live in <laughs> but i mean they are part of like, they are an optional part of the human experience in this world we live in, obviously. But if, if there is somebody who thinks fighting games are so enjoyable and so essential to human pleasure that it was part of, like, the human experience, just like that everybody who possibly can should play them or at least try to play them, God bless that person. Honestly, if anybody feels that way, God bless your soul for being such a fighting game enthusiast. I want to be, I want to be one of the people to congratulate you on your very deep passion. I applaud your passion. So, if anybody out there feels that way, thank you, and um, please let me know in the comments because I, I would like the opportunity to thank you again. Alright, GG. Yeah, but, um... Look to the heavens for unlimited power. Looking towards the sky again. 
I like, I like the way this guy thinks. Yeah, but um, I, I want to add something, but that was such a good note to end on. I'm like, mm. yeah, yeah, I wanted to add this. Like, um, let me start by saying that I am a person who has a very, very deep love for people in general in my heart. Um, for a multitude of reasons and whatever, but, um, <laughs> I wanted to super there. Um, and so there are particular types of people, particular types of fans, I guess is more what I mean, that like have a special place in my heart. And like, I kind of already like made this clear that fighting game fans are one of those types of people. Like I just, I've met a lot of fighting game fans who I enjoy being around, who I find interesting, um, who I find like heartwarming, I don't know, I just, maybe it's kind of cheesy or whatever, but um, no, stop supering when I think I have an advantage. I am going for it, YOLO, mm, no super for me. Um, but yeah, like, I've been to a decent amount of fighting game tournaments, and like, I've become friends with some people there who are like, way bigger fighting game fans than even myself, and I wanted my super there, but no dice, but just don't choke. All right, cool. Um, but yeah, anyway, it, you know, I'm gonna say something else. Um, I'm getting kind of like, kind of deep tonight. I was already feeling pretty like happy, pretty emotional. For me, those two things usually go together. But here's what I wanna say. Um, To some degree, everything I do, I take seriously. Cause like, it's just like the weight of living a life is so heavy on one's shoulders that like it's hard to do things and just be like, la 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 la, whatever. Like, I'm not thinking about the long-term impacts of this or how it's affecting me in the current state. Like I just am not, ca I'm not carefree like that. No offense to people who are, like, if you are and you like it, good for you, but, um... But I take everything I do at least a little bit seriously, and for me... Um, streaming is included in that. Whether it's live streaming or... Um... Wait, I kinda wanna win this. Whether it's live streaming or recording not live. Oh yeah, and we're gonna keep going. I might just jinx myself. No, we're good. We're gonna keep going because I want to talk more. Um, um, if you lack essential skills, you may gain them by experience. Yeah, but here's what I want to say about one of the serious aspects of what I want out of streaming and just part of why I do it. Like, um, why does Nash's arcade ending have three characters with the boss type of, um, super meter? The world may never know. Okay, but, um, I bet there's gonna be so many people who hate, like, how long it takes for me to get to a point. I just, I really love that, so thank you. Um... But... Part of what I want out of the streaming experience is to share the love in my heart with my viewers. Because the world we live in can be cold, 
people can be hateful and in today's world it's easy to get isolated and these are all really tragic unfortunate byproducts of just many 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 different things okay but um something i have learned and learned to love about myself is that no matter how dark my mind or my heart or my body feels like there's always a strong foundation of love and just like you know like uh, yeah that's it there's no there's no other word for that there's no synonyms i need to throw in like there's a deep foundation of love that i am so eager to share with people because like i have known many people many people just in my life um have hard times and also many people in my life have like things they watch or entertainers they connect to who make them feel good in some way like how i feel good when i 3-0 balrog um but like if i can ever be that person for one fan for one fan then that is a miracle to me like that is beautiful why did we have boss meter balrog and then a is in rolento oh it's a story thing is it you who are so eager to destroy shadowloo well too bad it is we who will triumph over their army their armaments will help us to rebuild our new nation leave you don't look like a member of shadowloo if you don't get out of my way i'll make sure you regret it yeah he's gonna regret it um but yeah, that's pretty much it. I just take a long way to say, like, it's important for me to share the love in my heart through my content. Now, will that always shine through clearly? No. <laughs> no, it definitely will not. Um, but maybe sometimes. Oh, yeah, and, like, the, this is a really important point I was saying. I'm glad I remember this. If I can be the entertainer that someone relates to and just, like, gets a very positive experience out of watching if i can be that for one fan that is a miracle that is beautiful that is in my mind time well spent um so yeah that's part of why i like doing this as some of you might imagine there are streamers on Twitch and people on YouTube who I have very much enjoyed watching. And so, like, I just want to break on through to the other side, if you will. And um, maybe someday be that person for one other person. You know, so... Um, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful thing for me to be able to do this. It's not something that should be taken for granted. And um yeah, whether you're watching this in 2022, 2023 or 2093 i don't care <laughs> it's just like if you if you enjoy my way of playing the game my way of talking both or whatever then um that makes me feel amazing so thank you for your support and um yeah <laughs> just a random explosion Encountering you has had no effect on my glorious destiny. I don't think that is possible, technically speaking, but whatever. That is such not an anti-air move. Like, it's not even funny how much that super is not an anti-air. 
It's like, yeah, sure, it looks like an anti-air, it walks, talks, and thinks like an anti-air. No, it is not one. Or maybe it's more correct to say it's not really one, because like maybe if you time it very well, it can be... I feel like some of these videos I'm just like talking a lot and the gameplay is just like totally in the background, I'm like not really uh, acknowledging it, but... You know, I'm playing through this game 30 something times, like we, I, I went over how many last video I think. And there's three game modes, so... It is understandable, it is practically expectable for me to talk about not just the pixels on the screen here. Because what are video games except for pixels on a screen accompanied by audio? If you play Wii Fit, there's more to it than that, but uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad I said that because I had a really good idea when I was at work today. Um, so this is one of the last tangents I'll go on. I don't want to like talk forever tonight because um, I want to get some sleep at some point. But this fight's harder than I thought, and I kind of want to win and save M. Bison for the next video, so... Here's what I was thinking, um, kind of like a sequence of events I'll talk you guys through. So recently I started getting back into playing Wii Fit. I, I think that is fun. Um, I've been playing Wii Fit Plus and Wii Fit U. Hey, you, stand tall, speak up. Mm, I don't know. Could do without that one, but... um. Yeah, I've been playing through Wii Fit some. And like, so I was like, how can I make this into content someday? And so I looked up like, um, Wii Fit, um, excuse me, um, speed runs. And the main, um, the main like category or whatever I watched was like, play through like 15 events or something and it's funny because there's like an intended and unintended category so like you're either playing through the game the intended way like standing on the balance board and like moving your ass and stuff or you're like i don't know like sitting on the balance board or just like doing some shit where you're like messing with it if you're a huge nerd you'd be like using an emulator <laughs> like like tapping the screen for the balance board that I, if I saw somebody doing that, I would probably be really sad, but, um, <laughs> yeah, um, I will be playing the intended way, as, as that comment sort of implies. And what I thought of was maybe getting a round win against Rolento. Or not, but, um, no, no, what I thought of was, like, doing individual level speed runs or high score attempts. So like for instance, I might be I might be uh, looking into the future here, it depends. But if I don't do this idea, somebody else can steal it. Probably already have. Um, not stolen it, but like used it. Um, the hula hoop game in We Fit. Like it would be really fun to play that like 10 or 20 or 30 times in a row going for a high score. Now is the game like solved and um, like there's no reason to do that? Maybe. I, I haven't done the research for it so I have no idea. But like who, who won? Okay. Awesome. <laughs> um, Follow orders, and you may become more difficult to defeat. So you follow his orders, like he, he's giving you orders, 
and then you're more difficult to defeat because you followed his orders so like he's ordering you in a way that puts him at a disadvantage for some reason okay whatever um <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm gonna have to think a little bit more about that to understand what that's supposed to mean or I'm probably overthinking it whatever but um yeah like it's like if there are like hundreds and hundreds of people who've gotten like 783 on the hula hoop minigame then it seems pretty obvious that like nobody's gonna get 784 at this point because the game's been out for a while but like if there's one person who has the highest score or like even two or three and like nobody's replicated it there might still be room for improvement Here, here's how you can really test that out tool assisted speed run that that's part of why tool assisted speed runs are important people always sleep on tool assisted speed runs but they are important for that reason and uh just because like it's something people enjoy creating and it's cool to show off the the and was important there because like i'm not i'm not saying it's cool to show off as an isolated idea even though you could clip me saying that and misrepresent my words what the heck are you doing man hard to tell what he was gonna do there but yeah, I'm not going to say it's cool to show off, but if you make a tool assisted speed run and you're proud of it, it's cool to show that off. So, um, yeah, like may maybe some of you guys or some of you ladies or some of you non-binary people out there are thinking, how can I become cool? Like, how can I be as cool as Stormativo? And, um... There's your answer. Tool assisted speedruns. <laughs> um, yeah, no, that's not the answer, and I'm not gonna take that question seriously at this point. Well played. Oh wait. Well played. There we go. He his voice went down like two octaves for that. Too easy. <clears throat> Sorry, I kinda of boom mic'd you guys there, but too easy, you know. Like. I like the move where he spins the stick around. I don't know why, it's just it's a satisfying move. I kind of hope Rolento makes it in Street Fighter 6. Like, part of me doesn't, because like, he has one of those aesthetics to me which is just like, cool yet like, irritating or something, I don't know. But like sometimes that's what makes a character interesting. Like Fong, you know, like I feel like Rolento and Fong kind of both have that going for them. Wow. <laughs> that that was that was a cool round. That was a cool moment to end on. So we're going to end the video there. I talked about a lot of topics that are important to me today. So I hope you guys felt the love. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And um, I want to say this, not for the first time, not for the last time. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to reread this interaction um, in the next episode. Or wait, no, we won't. Um, oh, crap. What did they just say? But I've changed my mind. It will be a pleasure exterminating you. Are you done with your speech? Your words mean nothing to me. Your sins and atrocities will now be judged and punished. All right, so yeah, sorry we missed the uh, start of that. 
me it's a bummer to you guys who care about the Nash story, but I'm I'm willing to bet that some of you care about the Stormativo story. Which I got so lost in today because I will be the first to admit that I am at least this self-absorbed. Maybe more. I I don't know. But um, this has been Charlie. Let's fight Street Fighter Alpha Three Max arcade mode final stage is going to be the start of next episode so i hope you enjoyed this one hope you're looking forward to the next one and thank you so much for watching <laughs>